What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video and you guys today, you guys already know what this video is about. We're going to talk all about that in just a minute. But you guys first, uh, me and my pubble actually went fishing in a nearby river this past weekend and I was going to make a video out of it but I really didn't I really didn't get like enough content out of it, enough like footage and all that to make a video out of it. But I did want to put this one clip in here. Uh, it was actually a fish that I've never caught before. I know I'm sure many of you have caught this fish before but uh, anyways here it is and check it out. Got a loose drag too. No, no, he's, he's running, he's running. Fish. I don't know what this is. It's something though. It feels like catfish, what it feels like. Probably is a crawfish. Yeah, I think it's a cat. Feels like a cat. Yep. Oh, it's a drum. Big drum, too. Hang on, hang on. I got him, I got him. Big drum, too. Look at that drum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lip him. Okay. Okay. Got him. Yeah, that is a solid, solid drum. Throwing, throwing back. He's got. Eat him, I ain't yeah, I know. All right, so you guys, as you can see, uh, that was the first ever drum I've caught. I don't know if you guys have ever caught them there. They're pretty common here in Alabama where I live. I've actually never caught one. So uh, yeah, that was the first ever time catching my, a drum. And well, uh, hopefully I can end up catching some bigger ones one day though. They get a lot, a lot bigger than that. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and head over to the pond. So you guys, here it is. So basically, uh, this is another thing you guys didn't know anything about actually. Basically you guys, this past Sunday, I actually put this up in the whole entire day. I didn't even know I was going to build that, uh, build this until uh, Sunday morning and then I just like had the idea around like 9 o'clock that morning, came out here and I will, I threw it together. It's going to be a turtle pond, I'm going to end up putting some goldfish in here, I might even put some koi in here as long as the turtles don't mess with them. There's actually three turtles in here right now and um, they're, they're kind of, they're hiding up under the rocks but um, you know, I think I'll get in there and show it to you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that but there's one right there. And then there's two more on the inside of it. But uh, basically, they were out earlier today. They just got in here last night. And then I actually, today, I actually came out here. And, uh, well, I did a water change on it. As you can see, the water is crystal clear right now. And basically, you guys, I am going to be getting a filter for this. Or I might just be getting, like, two Revital filters. This one, I tried out. It was actually an older one. It did not work, which I kind of figured. But you guys, I've had two reptile filters on the same pond for like a long time and it keeps the water crystal clear as long as you're doing like water changes on every every so often. And uh, yeah, it's gonna have no problems with it. So that'll be probably the cheapest and the easiest route and that'll be probably the route that I'll take when I do finally get uh, some filters for it, which will be in within the next few days or so. But you guys, so basically what I did is I actually had, I actually started working on this at like nine o'clock Sunday morning and then I didn't finish up to like eight o'clock that night. And uh, well, there was there's still some things not done. I I'm actually going to come in here with white sand, get a whole bunch of white sand, and put it all in here so the turtles really like that, and I'll put some of there as well. Probably even be getting a soft shell turtle as well for it. You guys, basically what I did is that took forever to dig out. It took like two and a half, three hours just to dig out because there were so many roots. If there weren't as many roots, I probably could have had it dug out within about an hour and a half, but it took so long, and it was very difficult to dig it out. But anyways, you guys, right here, what I did is I took some post, and then I ran some chicken wire around it, and I cut off the top of it because the regular chicken wire without even being cut was like up to here and that's like a big difference so i didn't need that much so basically that way i just you know come up to it and just step right over it and then what i did in each little section of one post to another i'll put a rock there so to keep the fence down so the turtles can't come out and uh, actually climb out through there so uh, yeah that's what i did all the way around it so basically I have this little area where they can come up right there climb up on the rocks and then come out out of here or they can even go up under that big stone right there i've, used, I've even got two solar chargeable lights right here that come on at night so they're like rock lights basically artificial rocks and the lights built into it but yeah guys this is kind of a short video i just want to kind of show you guys this and i'll be making more videos on this of course when i get the filter and i get more turtles for it and i get all the white sand and everything it'll look a lot more awesome unless we get some grass start growing in here and like some more plants start growing around it it'll look a lot more natural and it'll look a lot better but anyways guys i think that's gonna be just right here for this video hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure you guys drop a like on the video make sure you guys subscribe if you have not that being said guys i will see you guys in right. the next video
Peace. Hey, plug walk. I don't even understand how my plug talk. Pick him up in the space, cool. I don't let my plug walk.